Okay, this is about the most exciting one we're going to draw. We've got stairs coming up. We're going down. I prefer going downstairs. I've decided to do below the horizon, do above the horizon, same concepts. Notice how I haven't divided my page in half like I have in my last demos. I put the horizon line in about the top third. So I took my 3D box and I've drawn it below the horizon already. And if you notice, I have spaced where I want my stars the distance to be. And they're about even. So what I'm going to do is I want to start with my right vanishing point because my stars are going to go to the right side. And I'm going to draw the top of the stairs. And I'm going to just jet my line out slightly. I don't want to erase a ton. Sorry if that bothers you. And I'm going to draw the edge. So this is my top star, the front, and the bottom. This makes sense in a second. Then I'm going to take my opposite side and opposite vanishing point. I'm going to go from this top point. And I'm also going to go from the top point over here to the edge of the box. It has to, oops, sorry. It has to be that edge of the box. Okay, I messed up a little bit, so we're going to fix that line. And again, I'm going to draw lightly because we are going to be erasing quite a bit. Okay, so just so this makes sense, I'm going to erase these lines. This is the top of my stair. And let's make sure that meets up real nice. Okay, top of the stair, clean up my lines, looking good. Okay, now we're going to draw down. The stair down, I actually want to draw how wide it is first. So, I'm going to take my right vanishing point, and I'm going to go to this next measurement that I made down here. And I'm not going to go all the way to that point, but this is why. We're going to draw my vertical line, and it's going to stop right there. That's why I didn't need to go all the way to the edge. And I'm going to draw this vertical line, and now I have a stair that's going down. Hopefully you can start to see that first step. Okay, now we're going to draw the next step. So I have the top, and then it goes down, and now I'm going to draw my next step coming out. So I already have, remember here how we did the closest to the box and then the farthest. We already have the closest to the box, so all we have to do now is go the farthest, and I'm just going to match it up with my next little point coming down. And I go just beyond with my ruler, because when you draw the line it gets a little fat. And I drew really light. Now I'm going to take the opposite vanity point. We're going to say, help the top of that step down finish out. Going to my points, I'm going to erase, so not to confuse myself. Okay, I've got my second top of my stair, and we can erase these. I really don't mind if you don't erase as you go, it just helps keep me on track. Okay, now I want to draw my vertical line down, but I don't really know how far down it's going to go because I need to measure this next vanishing point. So, let's do that real quick. And I know where to stop it because I already did my edges. And I'm going to redraw these a little bit darker. Okay, awesome. I know I'm not going to see this. I just want to get rid of it. It's a little bit easier now from before I draw my stairs. Okay, so now we're going to draw the next step down. Remember, we've already drawn the closest edge, so we're just going farther out. And we're going to draw that here. And then we're going to make that width. Nice. Clean her up drop it down. Now, we're out of points, but we could continue my line in theory and just draw a couple extra points down to help me with the width of my stairs. And that is not a shabby bad idea. Okay, now let's draw the, the vertical down. 
So we're a true step. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to continue this until. Oops. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. What line are we on this one? Now we're to this dot. We're just going to continue this until our steps are all the way done. And I'm going to show you, as soon as I finish this top step, how we know when we're done. Okay, so this is what we need to do. This line isn't going to exist right here. Okay, we're not going to see that because this needs to be the side of the stairs. You see that? And so if this line comes all the way out here, my steps are going to go, go, go. But you know what? I don't want it to go that far. So I could kind of cheat, and I think I will, and just shorten this bad boy up a little bit. Okay? And that might knock off a few stairs. So I'm just going to go a little bit speedy and finish this up real quick. And if you're confused at all, watching it a couple different times kind of helps anyways. And it looks like I need to draw some more dots. So we'll continue that. And that's my last point. Just kind of guessed there. I was right on this one. I need to come down a little bit further. Let's clean these up again. I really like to see this edge, this clean edge. And you know what? I think we're there, guys. So, as soon as it looks like we're there, which we are, I'm going to continue that line all the way down. Let's see if I got that right. Oh, yeah. Except for this is where I messed up. Let's make it match right here. We could, could do one more set of stairs, but I'm not even watching and it seems a little boring to have to watch that many. So, we're just going to meet it up with the very bottom point and clean up these edges. Oh my goodness. Who doesn't want to run a set of stairs that looks this good? I'm just going to quickly go back through and sharpen up my points. Oops, there we go. Draw them a little bit darker. Stairs look awesome when you shade them. So you could just shade this bottom step. I mean, I'm sorry, the back part of the step. Now, I wouldn't say these are to code. Don't tell my uncle. He's a construction guy. He's a contractor. And I wouldn't say we shouldn't have a railing. But you know what? We're not going to too complicated today. We're just going to set with these stairs. Okay, good luck, you guys.